the water, we'll switch to a great lecture on the Dead Sea, provided by Dr. Karmit Ishalom. And uh, Karmit, uh, the stage is yours. Um, do I need to speak with this or? Yeah, yeah. yeah. okay. <laughs> but, but, <laughs> okay, so um, today I'm going to talk about the Dead Sea, or what left out of the Dead Sea. And uh, if we start at the beginning, so um, around 10 million years ago, there was a big rift in this area that caused by the opening of the baby ocean called the um, uh, Red Sea which is baby ocean that starts to grow and we have in Israel and also on the, the Jordanian side um, we have few um, sinks one of them is the Dead Sea it was um, basically dry for a long time till almost uh, five million years ago there was uh, um, water from near the Carmel mountain in Israel <coughs> entered through the um, <coughs> valley of Israel and came all the way to the rift valley and filled it with water, <coughs> the Mediterranean water and uh, it was all from the Sea of Galilee all the way to the um, in the south near Hatseva. After this um, rift was closed, so the water stays in this rift, and the, we call it Lake Lisan. And all the things that you see here when you go to the where you sleep in and Gedi, so all the white stuff that you see on your side, it's uh, sediment, sedimentary rocks that. Uh, were sedimented in this lake, Lake Lisan. So Lake Lisan was the largest of the rift valley um, from the Dead Sea of, from the Sea of Galilee in the north um, to Chatzeva in the south. And you can see here the shapes, the nice shapes in the sediment. Oops, sorry. Okay. Those are the shapes that you can see in the sediments, the Lisan sediments, uh, that's all around this area. The sea level of this lake was uh, 250 meters above the present <coughs> sea level, which is minus 150, 60. Um, it was also uh, lower than the sea level, the <coughs> sea, level sea level, but um, it was much higher than today. And since then, the level is descending. You can see the entrance of the water from near the Carmel through um, the uh, Valley of Israel and all the way to the Rift Valley. And now we have the Sea of Galilee and the Dead Sea, which today is separated. Um, the salt concentration uh, in the Dead Sea is um, about 34%, which is around 10 times the, the concentration in the Mediterranean or the ocean's uh, concentration. That allowed the people to sleep like this in the water, They're floating, and uh, I think this is the most, uh, like everybody uh, like to, to make the photo like this. <laughs> yeah, this is one of the, but People were here for a long time ago, um, in En Gedi, in Kalia, the, those are the um, kibbutzim that uh, they are along the Dead Sea of Nat, which is um, um, a settlement, a new settlement in the area, it's special and which is also a kibbutz. And we can see that uh, we have archaeological uh, stuff from Kumeran, we have it in Kumeran, in En Gedi, here in Metzada, and also at the south in stone. This is the ancient synagogue in Engedi. Um, the, there were people uh, that lived here, the communities that lived here, uh, they were very isolated and the people here were not the mainstream people. Uh, this um, uh, settlement was a bit big. They have a big uh, uh, synagogue and also 
uh, the settlement is quite big there. We can see the archaeological uh, remains. Uh, it was around the third uh, century. This is the um, mosaic at the, at the middle of the, um, the, the synagogue in Ed Gedi. You're here in Mesada and uh, are you taking a tour in Mesada? Yes. Yes. Yesterday you took it. So you know the, the story about the Herod, Herod's palace. And the last thing is in Kumeran, uh, there were um, many um, um, things that were found in the caves. You can see here the hieroglyphs. Um, so people lived here for a long time ago, from the third uh, and even before. But uh, today I think that the men here, or the man-made things that are uh, um, affecting the lake, they're just uh, damaging him. and. Uh, the lake and the budget, the water budget in, in the lake is, uh, is um, the sea level, um, okay. the Dead Sea is a terminal lake because it's the lowest place on earth. So people, uh, the water is getting in but there is no way to get out of it. So this is the reason it become more and more salty. Um, but also people are pumping now lots of water and the income water is getting less and less because all the settlements around taking the water and using it for the settlements and the, the um, agriculture around. So the, the water vapor, the water balance is um, it's negative and we can see that the sea level is dropping. You can see the, the sea level is not always was stable, but it was around the, four, the minus 400 meters. But since we had the, uh, the Ganya Dam at the southern part of the, the Sea of Galilee, and then the Dead Sea works that start to pumping water to, in order to um, produce uh, um, phosphates and salts that they are using for agriculture. And then the, the, there was another um, the potash, um, um, potash factory in Jordan. So both, they are pumping water in a rate which is very high. So the sea level is descending and today it's very uh, updated that the November 1st, the level was one around minus 432 meters, which is the lowest, uh, um, the lowest sea level that was here for a long time, and it doesn't seem that it's going to to come back and get higher. So the descending is, for now, is still going down, and uh, we can see that that was the lake. Mm -hmm. Just a minute, I'm sorry. At, at uh, 1931, the lake was bigger, and you can see that it was connected. The, the southern part and the northern part were connected. Today, the southern part is only um, evaporation pools of the Dead Sea works, and the northern part is a, it's about um, in the depth of 380 meters. So it's not going to disappear, but it's only getting, it's only shrinks. And this is how it looks today. The evaporation pools are here, the Israeli side. And also we have the same on the, on the Jordanian side, but there is no connection between the, the seas because um, this one is much lower than the, the southern part. So we have today both um, um, factories, they're pumping water to bring the water from the Dead Sea to the evaporation pool, and then they produce their salts and things that they need to, for agriculture. Uh, you can see here, it's, uh, this is how it shrinks, and this is what happened after the evaporation pools uh, started. And this is not even not so uh, updated, it's still uh, 2007. Today we're 10 years later, and it's about 10 meters lower. So this is how it looks in 1939. It's a jetty that uh, took people from the, uh, the northern part of the Dead Sea to the southern part of the northern part. And uh, there was no road that, uh, that connected the both sides. 
And if we'll see this uh, picture, um, in 1992, I tried to take this picture today, or but you can't really see the sea, so there is no point of taking the picture. But you can see that it's uh, in a <coughs> how much the the water descends and how big the new beach that we got. Um, this is the jetty near Engedi. So you can see how high it is, it's around 30 meters. You can jump from it, but you can't really go on both. <laughs> you understand what it is? It used to be like people were went on it and get into the boat or something, but uh, today it's very high. You can't really use it. Um, and this is the view. Lots of salt on things that uh, you can find on the beach. This is a boat that is now very, very far from the sea. And what is the um, what happened because of this descending? So we have this descending. It's really sad. So that the, the, the sea is lower. But what we can see that we have some um, we have more energy for the water. So in 2001. The bridge on Road 90 fell, fell down, and it just in one of the um, flash floods, it collapsed. And you can see uh, only 15 minutes after the first uh, picture were taken, the people that here on the side, they couldn't really get back to the kibbutz because they couldn't even think that this is go what's going to happen. So today we have this uh, lots of sinkholes, and you know what does it mean to beware of sinkholes? It's a nice sign, but I don't know what to do if I see sinkholes. Should I run away or should I jump in? Or <laughs> <laughs> so this is the maximum we could do, and I want to show you something. Um, before I start, it's a movie that uh, the, it's a student from Geological Survey of Israel. He put some um, um, cameras around the Dead Sea, and he tried to find uh, to, to 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 take a picture of um, a sinkhole that just uh, started to 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 create. And he had the ten cameras, and only one, but. Finally, we could find some um, movie that he made. Two of the cameras disappeared, and but this is a very unique movie. It's a bit dramatic, but it's only one minute. So. Seconds and the minute, the time which is running, and this is the actually time that it opens. dramatic uh, and not very um, deep but in areas that th there are some sinkholes that uh, opening in 50 meters I think that the um, the deepest one is 54 meters and it's just like a chimney it's a very small one it's not a wide um, since but nobody still nobody died in any of this, uh, <laughs> 
sinkholes, but it's you can see how it effect, it affects this the shoreline. Of course, you, and you can see it's also really interesting area. We can we are um, researching the water in it and what is the if there are life in it, and we have some bacteria that lives in very hypersaline uh, um, environment and also in in very high temperature uh, area. And the cause, the reason we have these sinkholes is that this uh, salty area was uh, formed at the, the ancient time when the the sea was higher, and by the time when the sea descend, so the the salt layer was exposed to fresh water, so the fresh water melted the world, dissolved the uh, the salty the salt layer, and we have some holes underneath the the ground. And by the time when this uh, all the uh, um, construction fell down because it was uh, too much to hold, and we can see it's the same thing. There are holes, basically in all this area near the beach. We're just like walking on a sponge. There are so many caves underneath us, and there is a very big. Um, um, 